I just finished the second book in the series and I really think that an appreciation post is necessary for this young man right here. And I'm using the television show version of Matt because while he is Matt Donovan and not Matt Honeycutt, it's a really good um, representation of the book version. I did find this, but it's not really doing it for me. In the book, Matt doesn't pry or push or really mope after Elena dumps him. And he's also the first and only person for a while um, to befriend Stefan at the high school. In the books, he's a really good friend. He's always helpful. He's always there when you need him. He's very understanding, even though he doesn't always grasp the situation. He's like, okay, let's do this. Like, he's always sticking up for people. And I also like that he thinks for himself. He doesn't, like, do the mob mentality crap. He's always looking after Elena, Bonnie, and Meredith, even if nobody asks him to. He's always like, what are they getting themselves into? Follows them around. He's like, ugh. And then sure enough, they need saving, and he's always there. He helped find Stefan and pull him out of a well. He helps Stefan escape an angry mob that's ready to attack him and blame him for crimes he didn't commit. I totally forgot. He also helps drive Stefan around looking for Vervain for Elena with, again, very little explanation. Yeah, I really like this dude in the book. He's not just the dumb jock. He's not even treated that way. He's not just the less fortunate friend. He's not the mopey ex-boyfriend. He's like really freaking cool. I think I found a paragraph in book two that perfectly describes Matt. Without actually looking at Matt, Stefan smiled. There was something new stirring inside him, something he hadn't felt for nearly five centuries except with Elena. Acceptance. Warmth and friendship shared with a fellow being who did not know the truth about him, but who trusted him anyway, who was willing to take him on faith. He wasn't sure he deserved it, but he couldn't deny what it meant to him. It almost made him feel human again.